us on DeSoto Today, a public information program produced by the Community Relations Department of the City of DeSoto. This series of programs is designed to present in discussion format topics of current interest to DeSoto residents. I'm Kathy Jones, Public Information Officer for DeSoto, and I'll be your host. Today we'll be discussing the DeSoto ISD Back to School Fair. And I have a great panel of distinguished guests with me today. First, I'd like to introduce Dr. David Harris. He's Superintendent of Schools for DeSoto ISD. We also have Lavetta Levels, who's one of his super, uh, assistant superintendents over student support services. And we've also uh, glad to have Maya Mosley with Texas Trust Credit Union. Cynthia Mickens with Methodist Charlton Medical Center. You're the community uh, relations liaison. And then finally, Patricia Coleman with Bank of DeSoto. She's one of the VPs down there, and we're glad to have you all here today. Welcome, everyone. Glad you're here. Um, first, Ms. Levels, tell us what is the Back to School Fair? When is it? What's it all about? Well, this is our fifth annual Back to School Fair. We're very excited about it. It's a community collaborative effort with the goal, keeping the goal in mind of providing essential supplies that students need in order to start school. So this is our fifth year hosting this and with the expectation of providing 3,000 students um, a foundation of scissors and glue and news, uh, 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 notebook paper and those types of things. So our goal is to provide them some foundation um, supplies to start school. And we've scheduled Saturday, August the 10th, at the DeSoto High School uh, Academy Cafeteria. So um, we're excited about providing this for our students and registration will be August 5th and 6th. And all parents can register. They would need to come to our, um, the DeSoto ISD Beltline Conference Center from 7.30 to 5.30 and they can come and register, but they have to be DeSoto ISD students. This is specifically for DeSoto ISD students only. Um, and so we're excited again about inviting all of our students and our parents coming out on that day. There's so many wonderful things that will occur, and some of these ladies here will be able to share. But we're excited about our partners. First and foremost, our um, partner, Solar Turbine, uh, Methodist Charlton, Texas Trust, um, and all of our community uh, partners as well with Bank of DeSoto, um, Comerica Bank, um, the Lions Club, the Masons, oh, and the churches have really stepped up as well. We're excited about Faith Bible with Pastor Crone, uh, Community Baptist with Pastor Epps, um, Pastor Rashid, and so many others, and Deepak. Deepak has um, also contributed. Sure. And also I have to say thank you to Judge Rideau. Judge Rideau is, is um, assisting. And again, this is a community effort because Dallas County has partnered with us from the very onset of this event and they come out and they provide free immunizations for all students. Um, parents, please bring your children and I want to specify, uh, we'll highlight the seventh grade students, those incoming seventh grade students. Mm -hmm. This is the year to have that new immunization. So parents, between now and August, make sure you go by your, your medical provider to see what uh, immunizations you need. And if you don't know what you need, Dallas County will be on site and they can look that up for you because they have access to all the medical records in the county. So we're excited about providing that. Um, and of course, uh, Zach Thompson with Dallas County, the, the Health and Human Services Director will be there as well as uh, our own Commissioner John Wally Price who comes and they are there from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. unloading boxes and providing water and helping and assisting so we're excited that we have this wonderful partnership with Dallas County. Well, it sounds like a great really a truly community event not just DeSoto ISD. Uh, Dr. Harris why is it so important for DeSoto ISD to put this event on? Well I, I think it's probably twofold. One is that uh, you know during these very tough times and you know everyone's going through tough times it's great when a community can come together and ensure that all students have that foundational experience where they have the things that they need in order to start school so uh, with things being tough as it is we have great community partners who are willing to say hey look I want to make sure every single student gets off to a great start and uh, it's a great way to do it when the community does it together it's, it's a great feeling oh, I totally agree um, Ms. Mickens um, Methodist Charlton has been the title sponsor for several years now, I believe. What it, why is it important for your organization to be involved in this? Well, Kathy, Methodist Charlton strives to be a major contributor to the growth and well-being of the communities that we serve. 
So being a part of the DeSoto Independent School District Back to School Fair is just a natural fit for us. Absolutely. And so we're not just delighted to place dollars on this event, but we're bringing out Chef Cassandra, who's one of Michelle Obama, our first lady, uh, Move the School Chefs. How fun. And she's going to get the kids involved. I think some of the culinary students are going to participate in a cooking demonstration. And so this is going to teach them how they can really prepare healthy meals themselves, how they can make healthy choices. Because as a medical facility, we are really um, very concerned about the health of our children. So we think that starting with the schools and working with them is just a great way to prevent our emergency rooms from being full with sick people or our kids not getting a good start in terms of their health. So we're just delighted we're going to have our fit zone come out and do a fitness demonstration and get everybody moving. So it's going to be a fun event for us, and we're delighted to be a part of it because it's a natural fit for us. Absolutely. It does sound like I want to come. <laughs> we hope you will. I will, definitely. Um, Maya, you are with uh, Texas Trust Credit Union, right. and this is uh, the first time that you all will be participating. Tell us what you have planned. Well, first of all, I want to say that Texas Trust's um, mission is to um, support the communities in which we serve. So. We are very proud to be a partner in education, and we are very proud to be able to support the community of DeSoto. So one of the things that we're doing is supporting the ISD by anyone who opens an account with Texas Trust Credit Union. Every swipe of their debit card, we're giving back 15 cents to the school. Wow, also, we have our Mission in Action program, where when that member comes up and lets us know that they're here to support DeSoto ISD, an additional $25 for that account will be contributed to the school as a donation. So again, uh, Texas Trust is very excited to be a part and we can't wait to see what's in store. We are really excited too. And and remind me, you guys just opened a, a site at DeSoto High School. I know that's a whole nother topic that uh, all the great things that are going on with the students up there, but you actually Correct. have a facility there. We are in the process of finalizing everything and getting the mm -hmm. construction part complete. But yes, we are very excited about um, being on campus and um, we know that we have the support of the staff and the more that wants to come and you know become a member of Texas Trust, the better it is for the school. Uh, a great training for the kids too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Kathy, and if you don't mind, I, sure. she didn't mention that, but I think one of the most important things is our students, many of our students will have an opportunity to intern uh, this summer as well, mm -hmm. and then there will be an interning experience that will go on throughout the uh, throughout the, uh, the partnership. So Texas Trust, uh, we really do appreciate them giving our students another opportunity, another option, and another experience. So thank you very much. Absolutely, right. you're welcome. Great. And uh, we also have another financial, com uh, one of our financial partners represented on the panel today, Bank of DeSoto. Um, Ms. Coleman, tell us I know y'all have a special thing in mind for registration. What are, what are you guys okay. doing this year? Thank you for asking and ha for having me, Kathy. We are honored this year again to serve our school district by uh, donating a 32-inch LED 1080p <laughs> color <laughs> television. Cool. And uh, we're hoping that that increases the uh, registration. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no charge. Mm -hmm. We are absolutely donating it to the uh, school district. What we would like to do is just increase the traffic even more, kind of mm -hmm. like a traffic mm -hmm. jam, mm -hmm. uh, and everyone will have an opportunity to possibly win the television uh, just with a raffle ticket. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. So if you get a raffle ticket and we call your number, it's your television. Cool. But and that's uh, at registration now. It's at registration. Yes. That's how you get your raffle ticket. That's how you get your <laughs> raffle ticket. But it's just uh, it's a, just a great honor. Um, for our bank, Bank of DeSoto, to serve uh, our school district. And we're excited. Once you see the kids, uh, we've been doing this from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's just kind of funny to see how the kids line up at mm -hmm. 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. that morning. They're in line with the parents. We we're really to do appreciate it. Again. it. And, and it sounds like there's, it's going to be a really fun day. And Ms. Levels, remind us that there, it's open to any DeSoto ISD student. No, you don't have any kind of a financial um, no, check no. or anything it's our like goal that? Because we know that times are changing, as mm -hmm. Dr. Harris has already shared. We know that the need is for everyone. Mm -hmm. And so we are prepared for all 
students to come and register and we want them to come on August the 5th and August the 6th from 7.30 to 5.30 and they have to pre-register. That's the mm -hmm. only caveat. That's is the most they important pre part. Pre-register on those two days and all students that, all families that register will receive that raffle ticket for that free TV. Um, but they have to pre-register. We will verify that they are enrolled in the district and that's all that's required is that they are enrolled students in the district. Um, I want to speak to the fact that these ladies are here but they all, they all have a additional roles with DeSoto ISD. Even though this is the back to school fair, mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to think that this is all that they do for oh, DeSoto absolutely ISD. absolutely not. <laughs> uh, Dr. Harris mentioned our partnership with uh, Texas Trust. In addition, we have a, uh, a long-standing, uh, a new initiative with uh, Methodist Charlton regarding our students and their health rotation, getting experiences at the medical center, and as well as Bank of DeSoto. And Bank of DeSoto is you know, we know Ms. Coleman and Mr. Moncrease, they have always um, supported DeSoto ISD, not just with this event, but with all of our events, and so, and especially with our Education Foundation. So we want to make sure that, that, that the public knows that this is not a one-time partnership with these organizations, that we uh, have other partners as well. Um, I want to also mention that on that day, our child nutrition department will be available. So um, if families are, um, they, they want to apply for the free and reduce, they can do that on site. Uh, we will have samples, and that's always a highlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we will have food samples from the morning throughout the afternoon, so parents can actually taste what their children are eating on a daily basis. So I think that, mm, that's, think that's really idea. important. Mm -hmm. um, and our, our child nutrition department, they love highlighting their certain foods, mm -hmm. their pizzas and their breakfast pizzas. And um, they have uh, like a Chinese uh, 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 chicken and rice meal that they yeah. um, provide our students. So parents will have a chance to eat that as well. And also those slushies. The slushies are a hit for the kids. <laughs> yeah. um, but it is a, it's a community event. The city of Glen Heights will participate. We have confirmation from the city of DeSoto. Mm -hmm. We have, as I mentioned, the Rotary Lions Club and the Masons, several churches, and also our, our booster clubs will be there. I know parents are always wanting opportunities to purchase those spirit shirts. So yes. we will have Blue Eagle and our, all of our booster clubs there. So if you're looking for shirts for the school, uh, for, for, you know, for your students, mm -hmm. and also for the adults, yeah, for get parents, ready for the first we have to get game. ready. <laughs> we will have all of those things available as well, as well as Dallas County, um, daycare providers. Um, there's just a variety of people will be there. So even if you're not picking up school supplies, come by because mm -hmm. there will be something there for you. Um, right. Crafts, uh, we have several people that uh, that are selling their crafts that they are mm -hmm. making, so mm -hmm. uh, we're just excited. And also the DeSoto Chamber, they have uh, supported us as, as well in this event. So we want to make sure that Ms. Cammie Jackson and her board um, know that we appreciate their support as well. Awesome. Tell us again the date, time, everything we need to know, and then we'll, we'll be ready. Thank you. The date again is Saturday, August the 10th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. But in order to register, they have to go to the Betline Conference Center on August 5th or August 6th, 7.30 to 5.30. That's pre-registration. And then after they pre-register, they will then come on the Saturday to pick up their school supplies and to participate in all of the wonderful events that we have planned. Great. Well, it sounds like an exciting day. Um, I want to thank my uh, panel again for being here with me today to tell me about the DeSoto ISD Back to School Fair. Dr. Harris, glad to, to see you again. As always. Thank you. Ms. Levels. Thank you. Ms. Mosley with Texas Trust. Ms. Mickens with Methodist Charlton Medical Center. And of course, our favorite Patricia Coleman with Bank of DeSoto. My pleasure. Thanks everyone. Um, thanks for being with us for another edition of Focus on DeSoto today.